Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This is 53rd in the series where we are going to speak about a, speak about the, the black spots model, one of the most important, however, an obsolete model in option pricing, which most still most of the time traders are using to price an option contract. However, in the last few years we have saw an emergence of various other option pricing model, but uh, sincerely speaking, black spots is turning again turning out to be a most important pricing model when it comes to option is ops and all. Well, from this side, I am Rahul Bagan, working as a corporate treasurer in EXA Services India. At the same time, I am working as a treasury trader and business consultant for various firms across the world and also acting as a virtual treasurer for various companies in India and Singapore. You are most, uh, my first book which is Options for Risk Free Portfolio, published in New York in March 2013. Second, which is, which is Techniques to Hedge Your Interest Rate Exposure, scheduled to publish in Sydney and Singapore by December 2014. You're most welcome to visit, to subscribe and join my Foreign Exchange Academy, which is titled at Foreign Exchange Navy Thinkers, which is on LinkedIn, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Facebook. LinkedIn covers 2,200 global members. You, YouTube covers 50 technical videos, 1,400 views, and 45 subscribers. Daily Motion covers 35 technical videos. Facebook covers Foreign Exchange Navy Thinkers, a newly created page. You are welcome to email me at nine, nine welcome to contact me at nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight and also welcome to email me at Rahul Magan eight at the name gmail dot com. Well I'm again stressing the fact that today I am going to cover the basics of black scores model from a currency point of view, not from a stock point of view. Because from a stock point of view, one more topic that would that one more in, input parameters that would come into play which is known as dividend yield. Since we are not discussing stocks, so this is not going to join. We are covering black scores on a very simplistic note and what are the few input parameters on black scores. So black scores is an option pricing model which calculates the value of both call and put, which calculates the value of both call and put as per respective parameters. For a currency point of view, these are the five important parameters in black scores. One is known as stock price. Stock price can also refer to as a spot price, the current price of a stock in the market. Second refers to as a strike price. Strike price, the rate at which you hedge to yourself. Third is refers to time to maturity. Fourth refers to volatility. Volatility refers to employed. We're going to cover one by one again. Fifth refers to interest rate, which is known as risk free. So the first parameter which refers to as a stock price. Stock price would also refer to as a spot price. Spot price refers to the current price in the market. So if you are if you are basically you are an exporter, you are doing USD INR option. So in a USD INR option, we can say that this is a dollar put INR call. This is what USD INR option. You have a right to sell dollar. You have you are buying dollars. Sorry. In this you have a right to sell dollars and here you have a right to buy INR. So this is what USD INR a contract, a USD INR option contract or simplistically speaking this is USD INR put contract. So in this the current spot rate, assuming the current spot rate is going as 64. Second important parameter refers to as a strike price. Strike price can also refer to as an expiration price. Strike price would further categorize into three parts, which is known as the moneyness of an option contract once your booking is, which is in the money, at the money, and out of the money. In the money can further divide into two parts, in the money and deep in the money, at the money would be at the money, and out of the money would be out of the money and deep out of the money. Third would refer to as time to maturity. Higher the time to maturity, higher premium you have to pay. So time to maturity would be one year, six months, two year, three year, and anything else. One biggest, basically, uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, phobia which we have in the corporate treasurer in India when it comes to premium is that you have to take the premium in profit loss count. Please be note that once doing valuation of option, and if you are taking an option contract for 6 months, 1 year, 7 years and so, then you can capitalize that. So you can create this as an asset in your book and then slowly slowly you can amortize that. 
So if you are sharing a premium of one lakh dollar, you can take suppose one million dollar. You can take one million in your balance sheet as an asset, and slowly, slowly you can capitalize that in, in your books. Say it's a it's a ten months, so it's a it's a one lakh dollar ten months. You can capitalize that. Fourth refers to implied volatility. Theoretically speaking, this is an implied volatility. This is an historical volatility. But practically speaking, all the traders, those sitting in the banks, they are pricing the option contract via black calls via. They are pricing the contract via black calls, via implied volatility. It is very difficult to tell that which which implied volatility they are taking and how, because implied volatility is nothing but a volatility which a trader would foresee would happen for a currency pair. USD dollar would have a separate implied implied walls. GBP dollar would have separate implied walls. USD JPY would have separate implied walls. So on and so forth. But yes. As a corporate treasurer, one thing which is very pretty sure about that implied implied walls for respective period to an extent is proportional to the historical walls plus minus adjustment to an outliers. The last, which is interest rate risk free. Theoretically speaking, this is risk free interest rate, but practically speaking, this may not be. So, which interest rate people are using? That we are again not sure because traders are are using the swap curve of a bank, which is known as zero coupon swap pricing. This swap curve they are using to price an option contract. If you are speaking to ten traders of ten different foreign banks, they would have ten different ten different swap curves which means they are going to use. The most important element in the pricing on option would be the volatility and interest rate. Because strike rate, which is in the money, at the money, out of the money, in the money would further categorize that in the money and deep in the money, out of the money would be categorized that out of the money and and deep out of the money. Well, one thing which I missed to tell that strike price could could be defined as as money less on spot. Second, money less on forward, which would be in the money spot or in the money forward, at the money spot, at the money forward, out of the money spot, out of the money forward. Oh, obviously, there won't be out of the money forward, right? Then these all. Spot forward, spot forward, and so on. So this strike and and again depend on money less. Well, the last point which I would like to highlight here is that the volatility play a very critical role in the pricing of an option contract. And if you take the price of an option contract using black calls, then all the all the different traders would give you different parameter. All the traders would give you different volatility. They won't tell you the volatility. They will tell you the price. Yes, that has been rightly said. The volatility of any currency would be nothing but historical plus minus outliers plus minus expectations. Simplistically speaking, this would be referred as implied volatility. So these are the five. Key parameters. The next video we will discuss. What do you mean by uh, what do you mean by put call parity? What are the various formulas of Black Scholes model? Theoretically speaking, how people are calculating it. But but as of now, these are the few important standard parameters of a Black Scholes. I am again stressing the fact that these are the Black Scholes as per currency, but not as per as per the stock. Because for stock, one thing would come, which is known as dividend. You are most welcome to contact me at. Nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. You are welcome to email me at Rahul Magan eight at the rate gmail dot com. But before leaving the show, I would like to stress the fact that as a corporate treasurer, you should have a very strong understanding of the volatility and what are the various interest rates that are going in the system. Because these things what matter for a corporate treasurer. A corporate treasurer should fully understand what are the various calls levels and what are the various risk-free interest structure we have in the system. So that once he asks the bank to price that, he would have his own intent as well. He would have his own <coughs> computation as well. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining.